at of college, 18 to 24 years of age, is the age at which we have probably the highest rate of drug use, 24, 26, depends on, on the type of drug. And we do see uh, kids that have never been exposed as teenagers to drugs, um, whether it was actually regular use of alcohol or it was uh, smoking marijuana or even uh, very, very hard drugs like uh, cocaine or heroin, they do it as they transition from adolescence into young adulthood. So that is a period of risk. And it's a period of risk for many reasons. One of them is, of course, you are at a stage in your life where you are transitioning from being adolescent dependent on your parents into adulthood, uh, in, inserting your own personality and at a stage where you're actually, your brain is not fully developed. And, and, and one of the areas that's not fully developed is the frontal cortex, which allows you to self-regulate. And it is that self-regulation that tells us all when we're in a situation where it looks extremely interesting, but we said maybe it's dangerous to hold up and not do it. But if that the component of self-regulation and oversight and analysis is not properly connected to the limbic emotional areas of the brain, it cannot properly regulate it. It is very important that parents, again, uh, speak with their, their kids before they go to college and make them aware of why they are going to be in a different environment where they may be tempted to take drugs that otherwise they would have never taken them. And that may be the fact that they are all by themselves and they feel lonely and isolated. Uh, that they have other kids taking drugs and they want to blend in, that the other kids themselves may be putting pressure so that, that because they want to see that the others doing the same thing that they do. A factor that contributes to drug taking among teenagers and, and young, young uh, adults that are going into college is, for example, an incipient uh, mental illness, I mean, depression anxiety, inability to concentrate at, at, at school. All of those factors can increase the risk of, uh, of, uh, of someone taking drugs. And so when you see an, a change in a behavior, you have to ask the question, why, what's happening? What is going on that is driving this behavior? Don't ignore it. Don't take it as it's normal part of growing up. It will pass by. Do not ignore it. The regular use of marijuana is associated with a decrease in the motivation and drive. So if you're a college kid, you cannot afford to lose the motivation to study and to perform well. So we give that for granted, but no, there is a limited amount. And so if the drug uh, sips that motivation, what you will have is a kid that no longer is interested in going to classes, no longer is actually even bothered by flunking the exams. And that can then result, of course, of dropping out of college. What should alert a parent that something may be wrong is changes in the behavior of their kid. And what does it mean by changes? Was well, a kid that was very social, all of a sudden we drop. Changes in friends. A kid that was basically very interested on certain activity no longer does so. A kid that was good at school, uh, all of a sudden starts to get very poor grades. A kid that was very meticulous in the way that they look, all of a sudden looks sloppy. They stop um, showering, they stop uh, grooming themselves. A kid that was uh, very calm, all of a sudden becomes irritable. And uh, a kid that basically spends uh, long periods of time without sleeping, Changes in their behavior should alert the parent that something is going on, whether it is in terms of the personality, like the way they look, their friends, their everyday routine. Do not ignore it, because it means that something is going on. The message to parents is don't ever become too self-confident and say, well, my kids, I've spoken to my kids all along about drugs, they reject them, they don't like them, that they are going to be immune. And leave that open as they go to college and says, you can always call me. And one of the recommended um, 
issues for parents is to um, be in, in close communication with them. I would recommend for parents that want to have more detailed information to come to our, our website, drugabuse.gov, and it has information specifically targeted to parents, but also for young people and teenagers, uh, where they can learn what it is that we have evidence in terms of what, what drugs are, why do they affect the brain, and what are the potential negative consequences.